How Companies Add Fake Sounds to Deceive You Sound is one of the five senses that a human has, but most of us don't even realize what a massive impact sound has on our lives. Sounds can make us feel nostalgic, happy, sad, or anything else. The important part is that sounds invoke a feeling. There are a lot of ways companies make use of sounds, but the most unique way they do so is by adding fake sounds to a lot of their products. In this video, we'll be talking about how a few sounds that you didn't even know were fake were actually fake. Let's begin. Hoover Vacuum Hoover has long been one of the most popular household brands in the world, with their prime offering being their range of vacuum cleaners. Back when they first started making vacuum cleaners, they had to be loud, and the louder they were, the more effective they were at cleaning. But as time passed by and technology improved, they were able to make their vacuums more… silent. But here's the thing. People started to associate louder vacuums with better performance. Since Hoover vacuums weren't that loud anymore, many people started to complain they didn't work or that they just weren't effective. Eventually, Hoover started to add fake loud sounds to their vacuums, and this is something that pretty much every other company eventually did. Car engines. Similar to vacuums, car engine sounds were just impossible to avoid back in the day. Cars had to be loud, especially if they were powerful. But now, you've probably noticed that cars don't really need to be that loud anymore. When hybrid cars first came into the picture, a lot of people were shocked at just how silent a car could be. But eventually, the world moved on to fully electric cars, and those produced next to no sound at all. But not everyone felt comfortable driving a car that was fully silent. That's why companies like Tesla, which only makes electric cars, decided to add fake engine noise as a feature to their cars, simply because it was something that people were used to. You can always turn that sound off, but for many people, the engine noise is part of the whole driving experience. Car door sounds. But the engine noises aren't the only case of fake sounds being added to cars. One of the main things we associate sounds with, at least in the case of a car, is sturdiness. If your car's door or trunk doesn't make a loud slam when you close it, you probably think you left it open. Clean, snappy sounds are generally indicative of something being really high quality as well. But here's the thing. Car doors aren't supposed to make clean, snappy sounds. In fact, they're only supposed to make minimal sounds when they're closed. The sound you actually hear is all the extra little things that the manufacturers added in order to make it sound more <laughs> satisfying. Stadium crowds. For many sports and concerts, the crowd is just as much a part of the entertainment as the actual event is. I mean, who doesn't feel energized when they hear thousands of people chanting, singing, or even booing? But sometimes, it can be hard to actually get the crowd energized. Other times, it's difficult to actually capture the audio of the sound. That's why almost every live telecast of stadium events uses fake crowd noises that can be recorded, manipulated with, and later added next to other fake noises. There have also been cases of fake noises being added in the stadiums themselves using a speaker in order to get the crowd more excited. Fake crowd noises were extensively used during the pandemic, since most of the games were held behind closed doors. Pringles Crunch How do you know if a potato crisp is truly fresh? It's crunchy. There's even a study by Worcester Polytechnic Institute to prove it. But there are also a lot of chips that are fresh, but aren't necessarily crunchy. Pringles, considering the fact that they aren't made of potatoes, would generally not be as crunchy as actual, thin potato chips. That's why Pringles are designed in a very unique shape. They're scientifically made in a way that ensures that every bite results in the loudest crunch humanly possible, enhancing the experience for their customers. Every sound you hear in movies. 
Movies like to go above and beyond in trying to replicate some of the experiences we have in real life. But as we know, those can often be misleading. Take sounds, for example, whenever you see someone in a movie going through a bag of potato chips, opening the tap, or just messing with anything that makes a sound. It's going to be slightly off by just a bit. Why? It's because movie props are created to make a very specific sort of sound. Oftentimes, they're made of materials that are completely different from the ones we see in real life. If movies didn't do so, the background noises would simply be too loud for us to really enjoy the scene itself. No sound in video calls. Sometimes even the lack of a sound could be the result of an added sound. You might have noticed that there's always some sort of sound in your bedroom, whether it's your fan noise, or maybe some noise from outside, your TV, or just something else. All of those sounds would generally also appear in a video call, but when you hear them on a call, it can sound super overwhelming. That's why certain companies like to add white noise or comfort sounds whenever the background echo gets too loud, and it results in everything sounding less loud than before. In other cases, the background sound is removed altogether. And that's a wrap for this video. What's your favorite fake sound? Let us know in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more videos just like this. See you in the next one.